So we just found out there is a black festival here in Chiang Mai. Found out about it last night. Um, I told Chefin about it. She's been raving ever since. Not a person for flowers, but she is. So we're gonna go ahead and check out how it is. A lot? Okay, oh wow. Oh. <laughs> I don't know how it's gonna be today, so we'll see. Yeah, our security guy went to the park yesterday um, saying that there was a lot of people, so today's Saturday, the main day of the event, so we'll see. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, ah, that's so sweet. <laughs> we got one subscriber, yay! Appreciate it. <laughs> The Chiang Mai Flower Festival has been celebrated for over 40 years, making it a long-standing event in the region. The festival was initially established to celebrate the blooming of the Tabuya tree, also known as the Golden Trumpet Tree, which is actually a native to the Chiang Mai region in Thailand. The first Chiang Mai Flower Festival took place in 1977 and over the years, the festival has grown in scale and popularity, attracting both locals and tourists from all around the world. And today, we are going to go visit the Chiang Mai Flower Festival. So we found parking on the side of the street and literally a couple of steps over, the food stalls begin already. I found a great big spread of sushi, it looks so delicious. And it's only 10 baht each. Yeah. I mean, as soon as we parked and stepped into the park here, yeah. the first thing we've been bombarded with is a whole bunch of food. Yeah. The variety is insane. There's like seafood, there's chicken, there's lots of meats, there's vegetables, there's corn, there's like coconut smoothies that yeah. I'm really excited about. Just like we got some kebab. Yes, kebab's always a winner in our books. Chicken is 100. So that's almost like $3, but the guys work in the stand. I mean, yeah. we'll probably come back for it. Like I said, we need to go see my flowers. Yeah. First, flowers is first. Oh my gosh. Wow. Skills. Are those omelets? Looks so good. Look at all all that oil. It's frying in all that oil, but I'm sure it's delicious. Is that fried rice? <laughs> oh my gosh! You know what? This has been like I, we still haven't been to any of like the night markets and stuff, but this is this is I'm sure this is where we're gonna find. But there's so like such a culinary variety out here. There's like. A, most of our favorites, like we have kebab, we have fried rice, we have this delicious seafood omelet. I've never had There's pad thai behind me. The guy's like, he's such a chef. But yeah, it's, it's all here. <laughs> My goodness. Yes. And shrimp. He's so ready. With, like, with he's, egg, too. He's got his like piles of like veggies. You have your pad thai noodles, you have shrimp, chicken, other meat. Ready to serve. So it's getting ready for some photography, some floral photography. Yes, I'll try my best. Yep. Well, we have so many beautiful floats in front of us. Uh, the parade was today in the morning yeah. between, I think around, started around 8 a.m. 8, 8, 8 o'clock, yeah. So we totally missed the parade, like the dance performances. There were all the floats, I think they come and they park here in the park. Yeah. This is the Swan Guahad Park. Yes. I believe I pronounced it correctly. But yeah. Somebody's burning some stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it could be cigarettes or incense. Yeah. <laughs> Either way. You never know. It always surprises you. Yes. Uh, uh, so there's a whole bunch yeah. of floats in front of us and we're going to get ready to go. It's a buzz. Exciting.
such intricate designs and I love that you know there's most of the I guess all of the flowers are real I can't I don't want, really want to touch them I think the signs say you can't touch them I'm not really sure but I mean there's like fish crab like all the deities I don't really know like much about uh, Buddhism all of that much or you know Thai culture to really know about the, all the gods and all that stuff but uh, it's so beautifully made I don't know how long it took for them to make all these huge floats with such detail I can't even name all the flowers here but they just look so beautiful yeah and I'm so glad we made it to see it in real life I love flowers guys like you don't know how much I love flowers <laughs> how they designed it. It's so beautiful. I I mean every float has like a different field. And one of my favorites is this one. Because it looks like a, like a big tree and then it has it's decorated with the compass all at the top. With the peonies. And my favorite one of my favorite flowers is a peony and the pampas grass. And I just love how it's adorned with all those like lantern like what is that thing called? Dreamcatchers? No. They almost look like dreamcatchers like to me, but yeah. So pretty. I don't know if all the floats are Lana inspired, but I feel like this one definitely is because of the design. So yeah, let me know in the comments if they're all Lana inspired or if, it's, if this is the main one. <laughs> so it is the 46th annual flower festival in Chiang Mai. Chiang Mai is known as the Rose of the North um, due to its uh, cooler climate. Therefore, that's why we have in this flower festival in February. Actually, the first weekend yeah. of uh, first February. Week, yeah. uh, first weekend of February. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like their spring. And uh, I really like right now, it's like the uh, evening. So on the other side where the food stalls were when we first entered, yeah. uh, most of the park out there is they're lighting it up yeah. so we're seeing a whole lot of lights come up and then on this other side uh, the floats are in between on the other side we also have a lot of plant vendors so they're selling all the flowers and we also have some food and vegetables on this side as well but we're trying to get through all the floats and my god I didn't know that it was such a long line I thought we were done after like six or seven of them yeah, yeah. but apparently there are way more here and I don't At know least if we're going to be able to dozen. make it uh, uh, you know the sun's yeah. about to set so yeah. let's, let's see Remember how I said that the kind of Lana inspired float up in the in the back actually was one of my favorites but maybe I take it back because this like bus safari inspired floral bus is so pretty That has been assigned photography duties. Uh, I always get asked to take people's photos, uh, which I quite enjoy. Getting used to it. So what we're seeing here are moonbeams, and we usually used well when my grandma was here. She used to make a really delicious mung bean dal. So yeah, it's so nice to see. Like it's like it looks like little bees, but really it's like actual food. We're finally here at the Chiang Mai Flower Festival sign right behind me. I think you can see it, but music is on. More people are coming in. 
lights are on and we just realized that we've missed quite a lot. The float actually goes around the corner down the street <laughs> and uh, there's still more to see inside the park. <sighs> Overwhelming but still bustling and we're here to just enjoy ourselves. Well, we have cut the float short. <laughs> yeah, way, way short yeah. because it, it goes around the corner. So And it's gotten pretty dark so we're thinking the lighting is not going to be really good anyway yeah. for like for me to take nice photos so we might come back tomorrow early in the morning when the sun when the sun just rises and the light is just right yeah but right now we're trying to go into the park because we see a lot of trees lit up um, you know a lot going on inside where there's more light so we're gonna head right in so the first thing that we're greeted with as soon as we come into the park is this nice uh, tunnel-like structure. So we're going to try to go in. The light's looking really nice and there's so many people around. I mean, it's overwhelming but it's still nice. Walk in the light tunnel. So crowded. I know that's the main theme of this. Seems like it's the main theme of this video. <laughs> but everyone's out here. I mean, it is the biggest flower festival in Chiang Mai. So actually, people, thousands of people fly from all over the world to attend this festival. So it's uh, it's true. I would <laughs> I will attest to it. Yes. Thousands of people. Thousands of people, and that's we're talking about. It's evening time right now. Mm. We were, we were just talking about how crowded it must have been when the parade was on. Uh, but thankfully we found parking uh, and uh, we're here. <laughs> I think we might be taking this one back to Bangkok. Bangkok, yeah, but this one's got more lights than the more other. More lights and it's prettier, it's <laughs> more lit up. Walking through another light tunnel. <laughs> this time is green. This is a much simpler one, but it's still nice. Yeah. It's not as bright, it's like a muted green. But uh, it's got little potted plants. As the roof. Oh my gosh, I didn't even notice. Did not notice that? No, I didn't actually I did not notice the plants. Actually you shouldn't be really touching anything over here, but beautifully decorated. I would have loved to be in that. I don't know if you can see, it's a beautiful peacock. I think it's with the orchids going down, but it's just too hectic. I think I just want to move on.
traditions of the main festival. First are the, per this the parade, the float, the beauty competition. But then this is the area where a lot of people always come, which is all the tulips in its glory. So I miss all this heat. Uh, it's 7 o'clock right now. Uh, it's nice to have some sprinklers where it can kind of cool off. <laughs> Channel number three. Super nice. So we made a full circle and ended up back to where we started. Uh, thank you for celebrating the Flower Festival with us today. We hope you enjoyed it. We are super hungry. We made a full circle and now we can't wait to go get dinner. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a like and don't forget to subscribe. And until the next video, we'll see you then.